Yo, what's going on everyone? Guiding Light here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how it is that you can catch the snitch here in Hogwarts Quidditch Champions. Now, this is unlike other Quidditch games that have come out. Now, in order to catch the snitch, you'll have to wait until a message pops up telling you to find the snitch, and it will be about one or two minutes into the game, and it can happen multiple times throughout the match. Now, once this happens, you will have to switch your position over to the Seeker. They're the only one who can catch the snitch. Now, at this point, you have to go and find the snitch. It usually spawns near one of the goalposts, and once it spawns in, you'll be able to lock on, and it will have an icon. Now, from here, what you want to do is use your boost the entire time. The only way to catch the snitch is to build up this focus bar, and you can build up the focus bar by keeping your circle within the radius of the circle that's present on the snitch, and you do have to try to get as close to it as you can to build it up faster. Now, these gold rings will appear, and you don't have to go through every single one of them, but what they're going to do is they're going to give you a major increase in your boost bar. As you can see, it pretty much resets it every time you go through. Now, if you miss one here or there, it's okay, but you want to make sure that you're boosting the entire time in order to make this go as quickly as possible. Now, in PvP, this can be quite difficult because the other players are going to be trying to race you to complete this faster than you can. Now, eventually, once you build up this bar, it will turn blue. Another key thing you need to make sure to do is drift around the turns. This makes it probably about 10 to 15% faster. Now, once it turns blue, at this point, you just have to try to get as close to it as you can. And eventually, it will pop up saying that you can catch it using the R2 button, at least if you're on PlayStation. But that is the process you have to follow in order to catch this. And you should be able to get better and better at it every time. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, this helps. And I will catch you in the next one.